Hey guys, I'm Justin with AmericanMuscle.com and today we're taking a closer look at the AFE Track Series intake with the Pro 5R oiled filter. Now, you should be checking out the AFE Track Series for your 2016 and newer Camaro. If you're looking for a premium intake to help deliver more power and better throttle response by increasing airflow nearly 40% over the factory airbox, thanks to the free flowing design and oiled filter. Now on top of the added power, the AFE will also deliver more sound under acceleration thanks to the open element design, along with an absolutely gorgeous underhood appearance thanks to the carbon fiber intake tube. But let's focus in on some of the features here with the track series, one of a few different systems from the California based company AFE. And the biggie that I like to point out with this system is that you're getting an open enclosure with the carbon fiber tube and finally the oiled filter. Those are the big three things that I want you guys to pay attention to that will ultimately separate this system from AFE's other offerings here on the site such as the Momentum, for instance, which by the way, feels a sealed enclosure. Now, this system, again, the Track Series, will deliver the look of that open element design or style filter, but more importantly, the increased noise or growl that typically comes along with that open element style filter or setup. And then, of course, most importantly, let's talk power, right? That's why we all consider something like this for our ride. And AFE tells us that this system outflows the factory airbox by 37%, which will lead to gains of as much as 13 horsepower and 12 pound-feet of torque, which is a realistic number for an intake by itself and no additional tuning. Which, by the way, again, this system does not require the use of any custom or canned tuning, so definitely keep that in mind. Now moving into construction and the track series will boast that dyno tuned carbon fiber intake tube. Easily my favorite part about this particular system. Carbon fiber is absolutely beautiful here, guys. This isn't like a carbon look, uh, hydro dipped, anything like that. This is legit carbon throughout. And uh, again, absolutely beautiful. Certainly is going to pop under the hood. Now that tube does also feature this guy right here. This is called a resonance chamber, and that's included there to help reduce any unwanted intake sounds, uh, but it's certainly not going to take away any of the good noises, right? That deeper growl under acceleration. Now this kit does also include the one piece aluminum heat shield here, guys, powder coated in black, and then that will seal to the underside of your hood thanks to the included weather stripping. Finally, you're getting that Pro 5R oiled filter shown here in blue, guys, uh, with the Track Series. And more specifically, I would say this filter has been designed to really maximize the space in that air box or that heat shield, as this thing is designed to accommodate one of the largest filters possible for allowing that maximum airflow, again, nearly 40% over your factory air box. Uh, what you're looking at here, guys, is a filter that's six and three quarter inches tall, but it's absolutely gigantic. Uh, 360, of course, here filtering surface, oiled filter that's gonna be five layers of cotton gauze material lightly coated in that oil. Uh, and if you didn't know, typically oiled filters outflow a dry filter by small margin, thanks to the more porous design, if you will, of the oiled filter that typically just relies on that oil to capture all the dirt and particles, as opposed to using a tighter knit with that dry material, uh, that synthetic material that will help capture the dust uh, just simply by using the tighter filter or tighter knit alone. Now that filter, by the way, the oiled is washable, it is reusable, it's going to allow for years of use with proper maintenance and oiling. And last but not least, guys, the entire system is backed by a two-year limited warranty in case you run into any issues. Now moving into price point here, guys, and as I mentioned earlier, the AFE is certainly not the most budget-friendly kit in the category. In fact, at right around that high $700 price point, it's easily what I would call a premium option when compared to other systems in the category from K&N, AEM, and JLT. Now, obviously a big reason for this is the carbon fiber tube here, which does typically command a little bit more dough at the end of the day. Uh, you can find other kits from AFE if you really like what those guys are doing that will utilize a more traditional plastic tube in place of carbon fiber and they'll save you hundreds of dollars in comparison to the carbon. So if you don't necessarily need or want the added bling of the carbon, you can certainly save yourself a few bucks by going with something plastic instead. 
All right, last but not least, let's switch our focus over to the installation. Site's gonna correctly peg this one at a pretty soft two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. Call it about an hour to complete from start to finish using some pretty basic hand tools. But now to give you a better idea of how this one might go down in the garage or driveway at home, let's throw it out to my guys out in the shop for detailed walkthrough and tool breakdown. For this install, you're gonna need a 3 8 ratchet, an 11, 10, an eight millimeter socket, a quarter inch ratchet, with a T20 socket, diagonal cutters, and a 13 16 wrench. All right, today we're gonna be installing an intake on our Camaro. First, we're gonna watch a quick video how to install the stock one, and we're gonna come back here to install the new one. So our first step's gonna be to disconnect our mass airflow sensor. So we have two T20 Torx screws that we need to remove, and then we can just slide it right out of our tube. So now we can disconnect our crankcase fitting. So there's gonna be a gray tab on the back. You can push in. Pop right off like that. And then next, we have to disconnect this one-time use clamp. So we'll have to cut that off and then remove this. All right, now our next step is to loosen our clamp, and we can do that with an eight millimeter socket, and then we can lift this whole air box out. All right, now that we have our factory intake out, we just have to take out one more section of our sound tube and install our cap. All right, now in the same pipe that we cut our other clamp off, we have to cut the lower one off. So we're gonna grab our diagonal cutters and cut that free. Then we can take the hose off and install our supplied plug. Slide it over like that. All right, now we're gonna put our air box into place. All, we have all of our three mounts already on here. Just go into the same factory mounts the airbox came out of. All right, so we have our three mounts, one here, one here, and one here. Then once we have that in, we can put our trim on the top all the way around. It just presses on and just work your way around. All right, if you have a little extra, you can just grab your diagonal cutters and just cut that off. All right, now we're gonna get our coupler and our two clamps. We're just gonna set them over. And then we can slide it onto our intake tube. And then our intake tube is gonna to mount to our air box. We're just going to slide that in place, and then we can slide our coupler over our throttle body to hold everything in place. All right, now we're going to come to the inside of the air box. You'll see the hole here and a hole here. That's going to mount our intake tube to the box. We have our supplied hardware. We have our bolt, a lock washer, and then a flat washer put in each spot. All right, we can grab our ratchet and 10 millimeter socket and tighten them both down.
All right, now we're just gonna install our mass airflow sensor and we have a tube adapter for the vent tube. We're gonna start with the mass airflow sensor. Just pull back and you're just gonna slide it into the intake tube here. All right, now this is probably gonna be hard to see. You're probably only gonna see one of them, but there are supplied T20 screws. Same thing as when you took it out, just install them with a ratchet and a T20 socket. All right, now once you have that in, we can install our tube right here. Just thread it in by hand. You can grab a 13 16 wrench, just snug it down. And then push your line back over till it clicks. All right, now we just have our two clamps on our throttle body and coupler. So just gonna push that all the way on, grab our ratchet and 11 millimeter socket. And tighten the one on the throttle body down first. All right, and then we'll do the one on the tube. All right, now we just have to put our air filter on. We'll see we have our large clamp on. So we're just gonna slide that over the edge of the intake tube. Position it where we want. Then we're gonna grab our ratchet and eight millimeter socket and tighten our clamp down. All right, and that wraps up our install of our AFE Track Series cold air intake with Pro 5R oil filter, carbon fiber for our 2016 and newer Camaro SS. And remember, for everything Camaro, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.